mashallah, mashallah. So, uh, I think you know already that I'm a farmer. I grew up on a farm in Egypt. And now, uh, one thing I learned from my parents and the people in the village, that I should always sit with people who have experience and learn from them. And I remember one time I was in Cairo, I was with a cab driver, a bit older than me. And I asked him, if there's one thing that you need to teach me, what, what should it be? And he said, if you put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over your head, it would put people under your feet. But if you put people over your head, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would put you under their feet. In other words, if you have respect for Allah, everyone will respect, will respect you. But if you're, only, if you're only worried about what people will say about you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put you under their feet. They have no respect for you. This is something to think about. So today, inshallah, our guest uh, speaker is brother Abu Ali Muhammad Rabah, originally from Lebanon. And uh, he has been in Canada now for 28 years. So uh, when he came, I think the uh, First Nation were stamping his passport because he came a long time ago. So uh, I invited him to speak to you about his experience. Uh, he's a friend of mine. We always like to go out and, and talk. I like to learn from his experience. Uh, there's not much of an age difference between us, only a few months, as you can tell. Uh, so I hope, inshallah, you can learn from his experience. And so please pay attention. He's going to say some important things based on his experience in Canada in the last 28 years. So pay attention, inshallah. It's like, you know. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Sallu alayhi. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, as uh, Brother Mustafa was saying, I am a farmer as well. And I learned a lot from the ground, from the trees, from the animals we used to deal with, like donkeys, horses, and that stuff. So I learned a lot, and I learned a lot in my stay in Canada as well. Like it's a big experience and a long experience. I'm going to speak today about like one thing, especially for you young guys, young children. And I'm going to ask some questions in between. Who can answer the question first will get a nice, sugar-free candy. I got lots of them. So everyone answers, we'll get a candy immediately. Okay. Now, what I'm going to talk about is who you want to be in the future and where you want to be. I'm not saying you want to be a doctor or an engineer or something like that. This is not, not the subject. Who you want to be. Do you want to be a good person or a bad person? Who wants to be a good person? Everybody does. Who wants to be a bad person? Oh my God, good. I like that. I like that. Now, now, the second or the second part of the of the subject is where you like to be. Do you like to be up? with the stars or you like to be down with the stones who likes to be with the stars oh my god that's good i like that who likes to be down with the stones you like to be down with the stones you like to be with the stones how why <laughs> thank you now my second question is, can everyone be a good person? Yes. Who, who says yes? yes? Very good. Who says no? Okay, well, I think everybody can be a good person if he qualifies and applies the five pillars of a good person. Which thing has five pillars as well? Islam! Yeah! Who said Islam? Okay, 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 no problem. No 
and applies the five pillars of a good person. I'm not asking. Now, what are the five pillars of Islam? Not Islam. What are the five pillars of a good person? This is what I'm going to talk about now. And you have to listen carefully. First one, you have to be good for yourself, first of all. How to be good for yourself? To be honest, straightforward, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal, don't do bad things. This is what the Muslim does, right? So this is already, you have it. You already have this one. Second thing, you have to be good to your parents. This is a given. This must be. You have to be good to your parents. Listen to them. Uh, do what they ask you to do all the time. Don't argue too much with your parents. Don't uh, let them hear your bad words or so forth. You have to be good to your parents. Third one. You have to be good to all the people with no exception. All the people with no exception. If you find a weak person, you have to help him. If you, if you see something bad uh, on the street, you have to remove it so nobody can get hurt of it, and so forth. So, who can tell me what was the first one? <laughs> the first one I said, the first one I said, yes. You have to be good for yourself. Remember, the first one. Good for yourself. Listen, the second one. Remember, you have to be good to your parents. The third one, you have to be good to all the people. Now, the fourth one. You have to be good to everything Allah created. Animals, plants, trees, birds, uh, insects, everything. So you have to be good. If you find a broken bird on the street, it's very good to help her. If you find uh, anything wrong with any animal on the street, dog or cat or donkey or anything else, also you have to be good to it. Don't hurt, don't hurt what Allah created. The fifth pillar of a good person is patience. You have to be patient. So if somebody offered you a dish full of hot food, can you eat it immediately? You have to wait, right? You have to be patient so the food will get a little bit colder, nicer, then you have to start eating, all right? So the fifth pillar of Islam, what was the fifth one? Patience. Yes, good. So let's repeat now. Patience. Okay, okay, very good. Guys, listen, 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 listen. I did not expect that you are so smart. I am surprised. Very good. I am really, really surprised. Very good, guys. Now, the second question, can everybody be a good person? Yes! yes. yes. How? If he qualifies and applies the five pillars that we spoke about. And, and 
because you are Muslims, walhamdulillah, you have most of these things. So you already passed more than half of the way to be good persons. You already passed half the way to be good persons. So this means not every Muslim is a good person. Right? Not every Muslim is a good person, but a Muslim can be easily a good person if he applies those five things that we spoke about. What was the first one? What was the first one? Yes, good. What was the second one? Good. Keep sitting, please. I don't give you if you make noise. Okay? What was the third one? Very good. Beautiful people. What was the last one? Patience. Be patient. Okay. So that's good. Guys, excuse me. Excuse me. You're making a little bit of noise. Sorry. As I said, you have to be patient. So always raise your hand without making any noise and I will come to you. So, where do you like to be? Up with the stars or down with the stones? Definitely everybody will say up with the stars. But how can you reach there? How can you reach there? How can you be up with the stars? First of all, what, what did I say? Be patient, do not make noise. This is a condition. Okay? To be, how can you be up with the stars? That's it? How to be up with the stars? Plus? Yeah, yeah. To good to people and good to everybody. How can you be up with the stars? With everybody and with all what Allah created. Very good, girls. How can you be up with the stars? Patient as well, yes. Not only that, there is still more. To be up with the stars, you have to be applying the five pillars of a good person, be a good Muslim, plus you have to be well educated. Listen, you have to be well educated. So you have to take care of your lessons, of your school, and listen to your teachers, and listen to everybody who uh, teach you anything. Anything. You listen, know how to listen to people, know how to read, know how to teach yourself and to learn more, plus the five pillars and be a good Muslim, then you will be up with the stars. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Person. I just want to say something in inclusion. Please have a seat. Guys, this is not a good one. Remember what we spoke about last week? The piranha approach. Doesn't work. Have a seat. One last thing. One last thing. Sit down, please. Please have a seat. Please sit down. Is anyone listening? 
still listening? Okay. So we listen to uh, Brother Muhammad Rabah Abu Ali. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him for the great advice. One thing I want to say. He spoke about the five things uh, to be able to be a successful person. I once read a, something from uh, a writer, and he said he used to visit schools, people your age, and everyone was together in the gym, 500 students, 700 students, and he asked him, what would you like to be? And each one said, well, I want to be a doctor, a teacher, an engineer, whatever. Then, after 20, 30 years, he wrote, SubhanAllah, when I asked him, every single one said they wanted to become something important, right? And he said, how if everyone wanted to be someone good, you know, a teacher, an imam, a doctor, uh, an engineer, any job. He said, how come that we have so many thieves in the community, so many drug dealers in the community, so many corrupt people in the community? If everyone started off with this good intention that I want to be a good person, how come they end up being bad people? Because they don't apply, apply the five things that the brother was talking about. Talk is cheap. It is very good to have wishful thinking. But what matters is if you apply the five. Without the five, you will not achieve anything. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you successful, to make you role models for the community. We'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.